Well, hello everybody. This is a, a Clayton's review of the XE4. It's a review you get when you don't really have a review. I think Australians would understand that. Well, good day, everybody. This is not the review of the XE4. It's more of a bit of a ramble, rambling conversation about it while I had the use of it. Fujifilm sent me one, which was very nice of them. And uh, I've owned the XE1. It was one of the first Fujifilms I got. By accident, I bought a lens and this thing was attached. I later bought an XE3, which uh, I quite like. However, the XE4 has some things over both that uh, well worth looking at not the least of which is the wonderful flip screen now it flips down almost 90 degrees which is absolutely magnificent it flips up but it also flips right out so you can then have it selfie mode or vlogging mode or whatever so uh, that is a great bonus we haven't seen a screen do this properly on a Fujifilm since the X70 which is why I think it is a great replacement if you're looking for an X70 maybe skip buying an X70 and get an XE4 and some lenses and of course if you don't like flippy screens or whatever you want to call them just close it, it sits flush, you can ignore it so uh, very nicely designed and speaking of design a lot of the changes are design evolution if you look at the various design concepts the XE1 had this crease along the face plate that I always thought looked a bit yeah I didn't know why it was there I didn't really understand that it evolved a bit over the 2 and the XE3 to this and now the XE4 thankfully they've given that the flick and it's now a nice well designed clean looking body another design element about this too is these sort of chamfered edges on the XE4. This is an old design thing, early Fujika film cameras. So Fujifilm have done this before and now they're harking back to those design elements. You can also see it in others. This is the, the Canon P rangefinder. It does the same thing. Luckily they haven't gone the old uh, like a route of totally rounded body corners. I think that would have been just a bit too much but they have taken their past design elements and put it into this body and it looks very very nice they've improved the top i think compared to the xe3 uh, i like this design much better but apart from the looks what about the actual functionality of the camera now most reviewers bring up as a con there's less function buttons and dials on this thing okay i would argue that fujifilm are getting back to the basics of photography with this camera because there are so many choices and buttons and dials on their other, like the XE3 even, that you had too many things to try to look at rather than just take photos. I think you're getting back to the bare necessities of photography here with basically your three elements, controlling the shutter speed, controlling the aperture, controlling the light with the ISO or the EV dial. So with those three things there on the camera in front of you at your fingertips what else do you need if you need other things set up set it up before you go out on the shoot when you're out there or on the shoot you don't want to be worrying about those essential items and then all these other things that these dials can do uh, and sometimes do accidentally because there's too many dials and buttons on the camera let's get back to taking photos i think this is a much better photographer's camera than the earlier versions and of course they haven't completely nobbled this thing if you do want some of those early functions press the Q button and they're there on the screen for you to choose very quickly another thing they've added to this over the early ones like the uh, XE3 is on the shutter speed dial they've got a P a program mode and when you use that 
you can then use this front dial if you insist on changing things like aperture or push it to change the shutter speed okay this front dial does both you don't really need a front dial doing one and the back dial doing another the front dial can do both all you have to do is push it to change it but seriously if you want to change the shutter speed there's a shutter speed dial if you want to change your aperture it's there on the lens it is so simple that's what they're there for if you didn't want to use that sort of thing why buy Jim Fujifilm why don't you get some other camera with a mode dial on it let's get back to the photographic basics you concentrate on your composition and if you need to there's your shutter speed there's your aperture simple and let's keep it simple and make decent photos instead of worrying about extra buttons and dials and functions on your camera I recently picked up this Canon P rangefinder and uh, it's all mechanical no electronics in it or anything no function buttons dials and rubbish you've got a shutter speed dial you've got your aperture on the lens you're controlling your light with those simple things and this camera will take lovely photos you don't need all that extra stuff I like this because it doesn't have buttons and dials everywhere my fingers go it just has the things I need to take a decent photo to control the light this is I think a better photographer's camera than the earlier version the XE3 with more buttons and dials so would I recommend it well hell yeah get this over the XE3 I think this will do you better I mean apart from the added functionality of the flip screen which I think will come in very very handy it does make you think more of how to control light and action when you're taking a picture than all these extra things that are built in under your fingers on the XE3 this is more fun to use this is a real good photographer's camera very very nice move Fujifilm pairing the camera down to the things you need it's almost as if they're weaning us off all these edit things a lot of the early Fujifilm cameras had the d-pad there okay now they got rid of the d-pad and put swipe functions on the screen instead and it gave us a nice joystick and we got used to that now they're getting rid of even more buttons and dials and leaving us with the essentials and I think that's going to make us use the camera more as photographers and that's a better thing so would I recommend getting it? yeah pick up the XE4 I think it will help you enjoy the photographic process more will it hurt the X100V? no they're different beasts the X100V has so many differences compared to this that it's a totally different machine if all you need is one camera compact camera to walk around and try to do everything with then I would get the XE4 because you can change lenses on it you can get different focal lengths the 100V you can't it's very versatile takes the different lenses has the flip screen all of the controls that you need are right there at your fingertips and of course the same sensor processor and everything in the XE4 as all the other top line X series cameras that Fujifilm have out right now you pull a photo out of this and you would not be able to tell whether it came from the XE4 the X-T4 X100V because they're all the same internally they take the same photos so great little camera worth the money what are you waiting for go and buy it <laughs> yeah whatever you do pick up your camera whatever it is go for a walk and have fun ciao